Hello, we're back again for the second part. And in this video, I will show you how to create your very first animated video. We're going to be using a free tool. However, there is an option to upgrade if you would like to create longer videos and also to brand a video yourself. By the end of this video, you should be able to create your own animated video very easily. All right, let's begin. And I will share my screen. And you should be able to see my screen. And I'll just flip right over to why creating your first animated video. Just to recap, we've already completed why video marketing. We've talked about the different video styles. And in this session, we're going to be discussing how to create your first video, the animated video. All right, I'm just going to expand this out. The first thing we need to do is to go to Go Anime. We're going to use the Go Anime site to create our first animated video. So if you're following along, you can pause the video and just go to GoAnime.com. The best thing for you to do is just to watch this video out completely and then you could replay it and follow it step by step. So I will begin and I will go to GoAnime.com. I'm just going to switch over to my browser. Start a new tab and go to GoAnime.com. There we are. Now, if you haven't gone to GoAnime, you will need to create a new account. You can just create a free basic account just to begin with. Get yourself very familiar with the program. And you can always upgrade later. The first thing we need to do is to make a video. You'll notice in the upper right hand corner, there is a little button that says make a video. There's also a button right here that says make a video. So it doesn't matter which one you, you select. So we will create our first video. Now you have two options here. We can go and do a full video maker. That is, you want to control every aspect of the video. Just to give you a brief introduction, the best thing for us to do is to select the quick video maker. This is where we're just going to use a template just so that we can get ourselves acquainted with the program, how to control the characters, change the voice, add our own, and understand the process of creating a video, a, a story. So I'm going to select video template. Good. We'll just wait here for a little. And before we go any further, I would advise you to watch the demo video just to get an idea as to what style of video you can create. And we've talked about the different styles earlier. Just going to go back to my presentation. We've gone to GoAnime.com. You will have signed up for an account, and it's a free account to sign up. And we, will, we have clicked Make a Video at the top right. We're going to do a quick video maker and we're going to be selecting the template. So this is a stage we're at right now. And in advance, I will let you know that we're going to be creating using the mobile phone animated characters. Now, one thing I should tell you is that when you're creating a video, you should think of it like a comic strip. That is, uh, every single scene is an entire frame. And what you have to do is you have to storyboard this video to begin with. You just can't go in and just start creating a video uh, just ad hoc. 
unless you know exactly what you want to cover. So my best suggestion is for you to just take a pen and paper and to draft off what you want to cover in this video. It must be a story. So the story has a beginning, it has a middle, it has an end. And typically with the video, depending on the style of video that you will do, there must be a purpose for that video. Either it's a how-to, it's a testimonial, and the different styles we've covered earlier. So you have to know in advance exactly what you want to cover. My best suggestion is to storyboard the video. You could use Word or you could use um, if you just want to type it in and then change things around or use a pen and paper and storyboard frame one, what are you going to say, frame two, what will go next, frame three, etc. And you keep building. You keep building your plot and then there's a conclusion obviously at the end. So we're going to go, just go through a basic uh, video storyboard. I've already storyboarded. Basically for this animated video we're going to create something with two mobile phones and we will just be discussing how people use their mobile phone and we're going to end it off with how can business benefit from mobile usage okay so let's switch back and again at the end of this session you should be able to go in to go animate set up your account create a video do a quick video select a template whatever template you want I'm just gonna select the mobile phone template and create your video I'm assuming though that create a storyboard will be the first thing you will have done so I'm just gonna move this up to the top and oops and this is something you should have done initially okay well if I can get it to move over there all right so let's close this off actually I think I will need this so I'm just gonna position it here and my storyboard will cover all the different scenes and just for ease of use I've created everything and I'm just going to be copying the text to put on each frame or each scene. So let me just flip back to my browser for Go Anime. And again, once again, as I suggested, when you go in for the very first time, just watch the demo. Uh, there are some tutorials too that you can watch just to refresh yourself. I'm just going to scroll down and pick one of the uh, templates and these are templates that are already prepared there's an election template a ma magnet style video a ninja video the awesome the office video and these are all pre-done templates we have a little bit of control but not a lot if you remember earlier the control over to the right to have full control that's probably what you're going to want to do as you become very familiar with this sort of animated video creation I am just going to select this one here the talking pigs and I'm going to create a short video <coughs> all right here we get to pick what we want for the video so talking pics I'm gonna click next and notice it just scrolls down I can select this arrow and I can choose between the different pictures that are available to me in this template and again using the template is just so that I can familiarize you with all the different characters how to change the voice and how to put it together So we'll select this one. If you notice, I'm just going to cycle through again. Some of the ones that are dim, we really can't use it, and it tells us that we have to go plus, that is to upgrade in order for us to use some of the templates. This is another one where we have to upgrade in order to use it. 
another one. For this one, we don't. We can just use it with the level of um, membership that we have, which is a free membership. So I'm going to click on Next. And now it wants me to dialogue, go through a dialogue. And this is scene by scene, frame by frame. So here's my first character. I can switch to character. So I can click here, and I can switch to character. I'll take this one first. And I can switch the actor. OK, again, similar. I can switch the voice. Right now, I have an American voice. I can have a, I have an American voice, Eric, so that's a guy. I can have an American voice, Julie, that's a girl. So why don't I pick Julie? I will confirm that. So therefore, Julie will be this character. Next character, I'll change that differently. Um, this is where I would type my speech in, my text. And this program will convert your text into speech. It's pretty accurate. And you've got to be careful because some of the words you may type, it may sound a bit weird. Um, but you can play with that. For numbers, similarly, it may sound different. You may want the number read out as a number instead of digits. Um, so you're going to have to just listen to it and maybe switch it around to make it sound good. This here allows you to record your own voice. So as a matter of fact, you can actually do a voiceover, create your own voice, which is kind of cool. You may want to do that. And of course, we can insert additional lines. Okay. If you don't like what you type and you just want to delete it, you can just delete this whole, this whole line. All right, so I'm going to type my first um, text. So I will go back here, and I'm just going to copy it. It's already prepared, so I will just copy. And, and then I will just paste it in here. So this is Julie, my American uh, avatar. And this is what Julie's saying. I can't believe how much people love their cell phones. Then I will go now to the second. And for the second one, we'll use this character, and I will use a male voice. And let me just use Brian, uh, UK. So that will be a British accent. So I've got an American accent, Julie, as a girl, and I've got a British accent. I will confirm that. And for my second scene, I will just copy. and paste. All right. And once again, you can actually record your own voice. Keep that in mind. Let's go to the third one, which is um, Julie again. So this is the girl. Oops, I think I missed one. This is supposed to be the second. So let me go back and do the second over again. Oh, I guess I did select the second. Let's do the third then. And by the way, just to show you um, the third voice should be American and should be Julie. We'll continue. The character that you pick to begin with will continue throughout until you change it, until you change a character or change your voice. All right, we're on to the fourth one. And here we go for the fourth one. I copy and paste. And I'm just going to go to the fifth one. So as you can see, it really pays to sit down, think about what you want for each scene, each frame, and just plan it out. 
We're on the fifth. Let's go to the sixth. And I'm just dialoguing back and forth, but you can decide to have one person doing two scenes. And the seventh, my last one. Normally when we, we're doing little marketing videos, we want it to be brief. We want it to be very short, maybe a minute, 30 seconds if you can, a minute, or even a couple of minutes. But when it's a marketing video, just to hit a point or to have people would a, uh, either make a call, visit a site, or take some sort of action, which we call call to action, we want it to be brief. All right, so I think I've got everything. I'm just going to scroll up again. And I've got the first one, which is Julie, then Brian, who's um, British accent, back again to Julie, and so on. So I'm going to scroll down. Now you'll notice that I have the phone number 416-287, and you'll see how it's or hear how it's read out. And we may want to play with this so it's read differently. I may want to put spaces in between so that it's read differently. All right. You'll notice that if you have, or if you want over 30 dialogue lines in your video, then you need to upgrade. So that's why I'm suggesting initially, just keep it short, keep it brief. Make sure you storyboard it, and you can just, um, start getting acquainted with this software. Let's just preview it. It will render it quickly, very quickly actually. And I will just um, increase the volume. Alright, so we've just created a short video, it's about 49 seconds, and you can actually go back, you'll notice that when she said the numbers, uh, she read it out as whole numbers, so she read out 416, 287, she read out the period, so I'm going to take the period out, and I'm just going to try to put spaces between them to see if she will read it out just like a phone number. Okay, so 416-287, let's see how she reads it. Let's go back to the preview. Now I'm going to fast forward when it starts, because we don't need to see the beginning. Thank you. 
Ah, she did it beautifully. So let me go back. Perfect. So if you want the telephone number to be read out as individual numbers, you will have to separate it. If you put the numbers together, she'll read it out as a whole number or whoever your character is. At this stage, we can save. I will now need to enter a description and luckily I took the time to create my own description and my own title. And again, if you can do this in advance, it just makes it easier when you're creating your own video. For the storyboard, definitely you could use Word, you could use Notepad, anything that you can type in. Some people may want to use a pen and paper, and that's fine, whatever works for you. All right, and at this stage I will publish. Oh, I do have the option of switching my thumbnail. So basically, those are all my options to I know it shows three, but it's two. At this stage, it will publish. It will render the uh, video and publish it. All right. Obviously, it's going to want you to upgrade. You can also embed the code and share it on Facebook and Pinterest and Google Plus. There's the code right here. You would highlight and copy it and then paste it on these services. Or you can share the link on any one of these uh, shared sharing sites, LinkedIn, Reddit, there's Twitter, StumbleUpon, Tumblr, or you could just um, email it to your friends. There's the URL. So. If you want to embed it into a website or any one of these three services, this is a code you would use for embedding. And if you just want to share the link, this is what you would use. So at this stage, I'm just going to close off. I'll copy this one, close out of here. And if I start a new browser, I can paste the URL, my unique URL, and shortly you will see the video. But I'm logged in, so obviously it's going to take me into the service, goanime.com. For your friends, if you're sharing it with them and they don't have an account with GoAnimate, they'll just see the video. Okay? Just wait for it to load. If you didn't grab the link when the video was finished producing, you can obviously grab it later. You can go to the share. You can even go back and edit the video if you want. I hope this introduction gave you a good overview as to how you can create your first, your first video. I'm just going to take my screen off. And um, again, I just hope this little introduction will get you going. Remember, go to GoAnime.com, register for a, an account, and click on the button that says Start Create My Own Video, and just play with it. Create your first video. But remember, take some time, storyboard what you want to do, storyboard what you want to say, and um, write it down, document it in Word or some sort of uh, text editing program. Document also the description and, and the title of the video. So once you've got everything properly documented, go in and you can do it quick. You can just just bang it away and create your first video. Save it. You may want to put it in a website or share it and just ask people to comment. I find when whenever you're doing something for the very first time, it's good to get people's feedback. And that's one way of learning. All right, this is Zahida and I'm just going to sign off. The next video I will discuss how to create another type of video and that is using pictures and words and music 
So it won't be in an animation style. It will be more like, um, more like a, probably a video that you've seen with again with pictures and words and, and music. So we're going to try to incorporate some of the emotions. Try to use pictures to grab at people's emotions. And you're going to see a lot of these videos used to market products, market services. Uh, tell a story, and it's all about telling the story. And if you can tell the story really well, then you can captivate an audience. And videos are what we use to tell that story. So I will sign off now. And again, if you have any questions, by all means, I'm sure there's somewhere here where you can post your questions and we'll get back to you. Uh, other than that, I will see you in the next video. I had fun creating this one for you. And in the next one, we'll, we'll see a totally different style of creating videos. All right, take care and make sure you do your homework. Make sure you set up your account and create your first video.